Hey everybody. I'm gonna make a little headway on the shop. Got some uh got the front wall in. I got some doors put on. all the siding up inside interior sides went with metal went with metal siding a couple of reasons one of course I'll do a lot of welding and grinding and the type of thing in here so the metal is fireproof and because the metal was Less expensive than putting wood in here. The price of OSB and the price of plywood is just skyrocketed. So the metal was about a third less than what wood would have cost. And I think it turned out pretty good. Now I'm trying to get the, uh, trying to figure out where what benches and stuff need to go in here of course i still got the scaffolding in here i'll set up because i still have to still have to put in the ceiling but to put in the ceiling i still got to cut a lot of two by sixes for that so that'll be that'll be in the works for the next for the next couple months as i cut all those those uh, two by sixes, but I'm not too not too worried about the ceiling until uh, until this winter, until I need to get some heat into it. But I did get I did get the uh, air plumbed into here. It's just temporary right now. I got to get the uh, My next steps is to run the run all the air lines and all the uh, fittings and that type of thing around the around the perimeter of the room. I'm not going to get too carried away. On this side here, I'm going to this. I got my layout table in here, my welding table. Started bringing in my welders and stuff. I got a couple of benches, I, or tables actually. This one I put rollers on. That's heavy duty, so I will, that'll be my uh, my little mill drill goes on that. Probably have grinder, another grinder, some some of that type on that one. I might, on this one here, I might make a dual uh, put a grinder on one side and a, maybe a buffer on the other. Something of that nature. Of course, you couldn't tell, but I brought in a, my stainless top bench, which is all covered with the stuff I'm using right now. But that'll be the that'll be a clean bench, and just another another workbench here that has uh, has some outlets already in the front of it that type of thing okay and then next thing i gotta do is gotta bring in my bead blaster it's gonna go in this area right here somewhere and then uh <clears throat> some other sheet metal uh tools like my, my brake and my bender and stuff will go go on this back wall and I got some wire uh, storage shelves to uh, to they're on rollers so I can move those around 
as needed. Over in this side, in front of here, actually I'll probably put in something, uh, a bench or something right here to use as a kind of a desk to put my laptop on and type of thing. It's the, still working on this, but it's coming along. You know, the inner door, I have a, uh, I have an ins insulated storm door with a, with a window in it that uh, is going to go in this area. It's a, it's a 32 inch door, so I don't need anything any wider and I happen to already have it. So, <clears throat> so I got to finish framing in around here. Got to finish that framing so I can get that door mounted in there. It's nothing special. I had the 36 inch walkthrough door already <laughs> it already had some some strap hinges on it so it just got attached to here get a knob on here and oh guess what you when you got the big sliders open you can't go through the walkthrough but you don't really need to when the sliders are open they will actually open up all the way it's good I still got to fix the uh, still got to get the hardware on the roller doors they um, haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm gonna do that but I'll get her done eventually well that's where we're at now anybody has any ideas or comments on how I should set this up. Go ahead and put them down in the in the comment section. Well, I should do it for now. Take care everybody.